What's going on guys? I'm back. Philip Brooks has returned. I posted a video yesterday and now it's time for a real episode in this series as Brooks gets back to playing some football here in his senior season at Florida. Of course this year we're chasing a national championship. We're in the SEC powerhouse conference. We're hoping we can emerge as a top team in the nation and capture the illustrious national championship and bring Philip Brooks some glory as we head on out to NCAA 13 next week. We're going to close out this year or last year's version of the game with Philip Brooks and here you can see him taking off and getting some yards like he always did in his first three years he loves to take off and run the ball and now Brooks play action rolling to his right he's gonna hook up with his tight end for the first down inside the 10 yard line it's now third and goal Brooks hits his tight end once more touchdown Gators he'll give him a couple of Gator chomps whatever they call those things anyway and that's a touchdown for Florida we're playing against Eastern Michigan it's one of those cupcake teams that you always play in week one especially if you're an SEC school but anyways it is 10 nothing now and Brooks is gonna hit his man once more and that's gonna get him to the 11 yard line now above the 12 yard line and Brooks is having his way with his Eastern Michigan defense he's just getting back to the basics and I had to get back to used to playing Road to Glory quarterback as well and so Eastern Michigan good warm-up game here that I have to call it I mean you know you're probably gonna come in here and destroy your opponent but you still want to play pretty well and I got Brooks in the pocket now, and I just want to take off and scramble. I run so some blocks get set up, and then I get the first down, 20 yards, and Brooks got shaken up a little bit. He would enter the game later in the third quarter with a 24-0 lead. We're handing the ball off now. We got a pretty good running back here at Florida. His name is Matt Petty. I'll learn the rest of this team's name here. I'll write them down so I can remember them, just so I can just say their names instead of saying wide receiver or tight end. But, man, Florida, we're all about the speed here, the speed state. I used to watch the Gators when they had Percy Harvin. I loved watching Florida. And here's an example of that speed. Although it is an Eastern Michigan University defense, it's what I like to see. I want to see more of it this year. And then Brooks showing off the strength to get it over the safety and to his receiver in stride for the touchdown. It was an easy victory, 40. Five nothing. Florida picking up, picking up where they left off in season three after the assault they put on UConn. And of course, in order to glory, you're not going to attempt very many passes. Usually, 12 or 15 is kind of the average, I would have to say. And now we're playing against UCF, so we're going to play an in-state team here in Florida, a pretty good one at that. It's definitely more of a challenge than our week two game. We had a week, bye week in week one. Hand the ball off to Petty again. Starting the game off here, running the ball a lot. Now it's third and two, and the coach wants to run some wildcat rather than put the ball in the hands of his All-American quarterback, and he pays a price by not getting the first down. So now Brooks is in the game later at quarterback. He gets sacked, and UCF now has a seven-point lead, and the Gators have an early deficit, but should be no problem for the Gators. And Brooks pumps, and now he's going to throw it in trap. Traffic. That was kind of dangerous there. The pump fake actually worked though to evade the pressure. And now hand the, ball, hand the ball off to Petty. He'll go up the middle, get the first down. And so we got a pretty good running attack here. We want to have a balanced offense. And now first down and 10, Brooks. He'll pump in, then a perfect pass through his receiver, threading the needle, showing off his great accuracy. And now it is third down and two. We're trying to get in there and score. Brooks wants to take off. He did have a man open, but I kind of had my heart set on running the ball there in that situation. But the coach says, go for it. I would have taken the field goal personally. That's kind of the way I do it. I always take the field goal in the first half. It's my philosophy. But we do get the first down, and now Brooks back. He's rolling out to his left, and he's going to step up, and no one came to hit him. Brooks dives into the end zone. It's a tie ball game. And then a quick turnover got the Gators the ball again, so Brooks can now make this a seven-point lead. If he can get into the end zone, he's taken off. First down and more inside the five. He's knocked out at the three-yard line. So it's third and goal, eight seconds to go in the first half. Brooks in the pocket. Doesn't like what he sees, so he takes off, dives, and fumbles. Look like he might have been in the end zone when he lost the ball. We'll have to take a second look at that. That one's a, a really, really bad turnover in the red zone, but it, sure enough, looked like that was a legitimate call. Barely, referees got it right. So it's 13-9 now in the second half. Must have gotten a safety somehow. And I try to hit that row. I call it a corner striker. I didn't know what to call it, really. And I kind of get my timing mixed up because it works for me on Madden 
a lot, but not on this game so much. And so anyways, we're working our way down the field, not giving up the ball, no turnovers. Just got to play fundamental football, hand the ball off to Petty up the middle. And he's doing some work. He gets another first down carry, and now it's first down and 10. Brooks back to pass, pumps left side, and then he's scanning the field, and he finds his man gaining some separation, and that's going to be a first down for the Gators as they work their way into UCF territory. Now inside the five-yard line later, Brooks over the middle, hit as he throws, but it's a touchdown pass nonetheless, and the Gators take the lead, and Brooks was hit, but he can get up and still do the Gator chomp thing, and it's 16-13 to now, a field goal lead here in the fourth quarter. Brooks escaping the pressure, breaks a tackle, and then he's going to get sacked, and I tried to find an open man after that first hit, but I wasn't quite able to. I wanted to throw it away, actually. Then hand it off to Petty later, and man, this kid is good. He goes outside, cuts it up the middle, and that's a touchdown for Matt Petty. That will increase our lead now to a two-score game. It's 23-13, trying to ice this game. Petty going outside. He's going to get another big carry inside of the five-yard line now. Gators knocking on the door, trying to score one touchdown. I hope to put the nail in the coffin. Brooks hits his fullback out of the backfield as he was hit again. UCF was bringing the pressure, and we have five All-Americans on this offensive line. It was kind of disheartening because we know when we play against Alabama, or I don't even know if we play them, LSU and other tough teams, they're probably going to bring the pressure as well and bring it much harder. So Matt Petty is a player of the game. Him and Brooks are a very solid quarterback running back tandem on offense. Brooks kind of got shaken up in this game. He got knocked down a few times, but he always got right back up. And most of those plays where he got hit hard were touchdown passes. So he showed some confidence in the pocket, and that's what you need out of your quarterback. So Florida is still a fifth team in the nation. And surprisingly, already at this point, Florida is the only team without a loss in their division. And one of only three teams without a loss in the entire SEC. And so next up, guys, though, it gets harder. We're going to step it up a notch. The Tennessee Volunteers are 1-1, one one, but they're one of the better teams in the SEC. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video. Have a great day.